Hello, my name is Catherine Saunders from the University of Ulster and together with Dr Maggie Woodhouse from Cardiff University we've developed a rapid and objective tool for making measures of accommodative function in babies, young children, those with special needs and those with communication difficulties. And we call this device the Ulster Cardiff Accommodation Cube. We've used it for many years in our research and clinical work. And our research and that of others has demonstrated that children with developmental disabilities, such as Down syndrome and cerebral palsy, often have problems in producing and maintaining accurate focus. And we've also seen from other people's research that this problem is not uncommon in typically developing children either. However, most eye care professionals when making an assessment of accommodative function use a standard push-up technique where they're asking the patient whether an object or target is clear or blurry. And this is obviously not appropriate when testing a pre-verbal child or someone with a learning difficulty or a communication problem. And that's where devices such as the UC Cube can be invaluable. During our development of the Cube, we have produced reliability and repeatability data and normative data are provided when you buy the cube so that as an eye care practitioner you can make a judgment about whether the measurements that you have made fall within or outside normal ranges and this can help inform your management of any accommodative problems you find. As well as the picture version of the cube which is suitable for babies with relatively poor vision right the way through to older children and adults with excellent vision there's an interchangeable target which has numbers and letters and text on it, as well as a convergence target similar to that used in the RAF rule. I use the cube all the time in my clinical and research practice. I use it on all my paediatric patients and particularly on those with special needs. And many children with Down syndrome and cerebral palsy have benefited from an identification of their accommodative difficulties and prescription of a pair of bifocals to improve both their visual and educational outcomes. I also use the cube when I'm assessing a typically developing child, particularly if they're long or far-sighted, because then I can work out whether or not they're coping well with their long-sightedness and whether or not they might benefit from a spectacle prescription. To use the cube is straightforward. Place the front face of the cube at the required distance. We generally use 20 or 25 centimetres as children tend to have short working distances. The chin support of the ruler is then placed against the patient's chin or the ruler can be removed and the target can be used without the ruler if the child objects to it. The patient is encouraged to view the illuminated target while the practitioner holds their retinoscope beside the cube. If a neutral retinoscopy result is observed in this position, the patient is focusing accurately on the cube. If a with movement is observed, they are under accommodating. This is called accommodative lag and the practitioner moves their retinoscope back until a neutral response is achieved. All the time the cube is stationary and the patient continues to look at the pictures and you can encourage them to tell you what they can see and to talk about the pictures to keep their fixation really steady. If I'm asking the child to accommodate to a four diopter target placed at 25 centimetres and they're under accommodating such that I don't get neutral until I reach 50 centimetres from the child. They're only producing two diopters of accommodation. I'm asking them to produce four, therefore they have a two diopter lag of accommodation. If when I place my ret next to the target, I get it against movement, the child is over accommodating and I need to move forward until I reach neutral. And the point at which I reach neutral tells me how much the child is over accommodating by. An accurate response is one which is neutral when the ret is next to the target or just a little bit behind the target. And the normal bands on the target ruler allow us to quickly check whether a slight lag is within normal limits for age. Mm -hmm.